that's a shame you didn't put that in a reference. If I had, you'd have left. Look, I meant what I said. I did it because I really care about you. Yeah, there's other ways you could have shown that. Ready? Yeah. <clears throat> Wait. Problem. Right. Pub or cafe? Uh, pub. Seen enough of my mum for one day. Mm -hmm. She'll catch you up. We are all entitled to a dinner break. Then go and take one. I'll see you down. No wonder she wanted to leave. It's what you're holding me hostage now, are you? I don't blame you for hating me. I don't hate you. Don't you? I should do. So what I said yesterday, you didn't mind? I don't know what to think with you. You say one thing and you do another. It's exhausting. I suppose it would be. You know my problem. Oh, you've only got the one. Uh, I don't think things through properly. Uh, I've made your life hell and all, all you did was fall in love with me. It's a bit of an exaggeration. I suppose I never really saw myself going for your type. What I mean is, compared to Chaz or Maisie, you're just, you're really, really different. Not necessarily in a bad way. You don't judge a book by his cover. Lisa's no, well, I'm, I'm trying to say I'm sorry. And you can't even do that without insulting me. You know, I might not have long legs or blonde hair or a chest that needs its own postcode, but there are some men who find me rather a catch. Thank you very much. You. you haven't. I just had to tell you. I thought, um, maybe I was imagining things. I have a habit of doing that. Not this time. Right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel terrible even saying this. What do we do now? <laughs> do? Now that we both know how we feel. I don't think we can really do anything. What? Being unfaithful it, its not who I am. I, I mean, me and Ashley haven't had the easiest of marriages, but I do still love him. Why are you saying you love me? I haven't chosen to feel this way, and I half wish I didn't. Oh, I should never have come round. I'm messing you about. What the hell is wrong with me? Don't go. Sorry. Please, Laurel. Oh. How did you get on? I didn't. Well, I was offered a few shifts in that pub by the train station. Why didn't you take it then? Yeah, I can really see Dad going for that. Mm. Has David phoned? Not yet, but he will. Listen, I had a word with your dad, and we can give you 30 quid. Yeah, she bullied him into submission. No, it didn't. I'm sorry, love. I know it's not much help. I don't need your money, honest. I'm going to ask David for my job back. Well, I'll come with you. No way. You've done enough damage. Well, I've been looking for you. Well, where else would I be? Wrong you. Banana smoothie. Oh, you mouthy little madam. What are you doing here? It's okay, no one saw me. Well, Ken did, but that was this morning. Are you out of your mind? Oh no, it's fine, he drove off. I had to wait ages. I got you this. <sighs> Who did you bagel this time? It's my paper on money. You mean David hasn't sacked you? I said sorry, and he knew it was for a good cause. What? I never told him about you. So you're gonna take it or not? Ooh. What's wrong? Nothing, just the baby moving. Can I feel? Feel what? She just, she like stroking me jacket. You want to get a life? Two pound forty, please. Me dad's paying. Your dad's not here. Yeah, he's on his way. I'm sorry. I haven't seen you out jogging lately. When do I get chance running this place single-handed? On your own, you've got here, haven't you? Hello. Where's your sidekick? Sorry about my sister. Have you still got a job? 
You tell me. I can come in and sort out the papers tomorrow morning if you want. Good. Now we've settled our differences, I'll even do a couple of extra shifts if you've got them. Hey, that's lucky. He was just saying he was overworked. <sighs> I haven't got the money to pay you a couple of extra shifts. You know that. Just a thought. See you tomorrow. See ya. Oh, I reckon she fancies you. Give over. Shy, nervous, is the dead giveaway. No, nah, that's just her. Anyway, I have learnt not to give teenage girls too much encouragement. All right. All right. Hey, he'll go jogging with you. Yeah, if he's not too busy making my girlfriend's life a misery. I was out of order. I hold my hands up. No. How could you treat her like that? Give him a break, eh? No. You messed up her chances of a good job. No, it wasn't like that. Well, to you, it might not have been. Cheers. I suppose I deserve that. Too right, you did. When did you ever think that stitching Jenny up was going to work in your favour? Eh? I'm a hard worker. I'll do anything you've got going, even if it's just an hour at dinner time. Look, Anna, love, I'm just a little bit snowed under at the moment. Zach, they're ready. Right. All the more reason to take on a new waitress. Waitress? Look, if people want a drink, they come to the counter and order it. We're not in France. No. Has anyone seen Amy? No. Yes, you have. You were just sitting here chatting to her. She's got a short memory. Hasn't she? I can't even say hi now. No, you can't. Let's not overreact, love, eh? Oh, I got starters I need prepping. I'm good at cooking. We've already got a sous chef. Allegedly. She'd better pull her finger out when the new punters start flooding in. What new punters? The ones who see us and our four and a half rosettes in the tourist brochure. From now on, strictly no riffraff. Why are you looking at me when you say that? Oh. Ah, hey. uh, have you seen Amy? Uh, no, sorry. Well, if you do, tell her we're deeply unimpressed. Right. Pardon me tea, please, Brenda. I really need a job. Are you still here? My dad takes people on. Yeah, but I've got Amy. When she can be bothered. I thought you were working in the shop. I am. Oh, there you go. I can't go stealing David's staff. He wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. Well, if it were me, I'd be up in arms about it. Well, are you any good with horses? Why? Well, it's just one of our stable girls has gone off to Thailand with a boyfriend. It'd only be for a few hours here and there for a couple of weeks, but the job's yours if you want it. At home, fam. That's where the horses live, yes? I don't know, I might have to think about it. I'm doing you a favour here. Eh? All the same. It's too choosy for her own good, that one. One pound fifty, please. You look like a girl with a problem. <sighs> Not for long. Thought you were going to apologise to her. I did. Properly? Yeah. Paid her compliments and everything. Right. So, how come she looks like she wants your head on a spike? Because some of it might have been taken the wrong way. Hey! Fancy joining us? No, I just want to give you this. It's very formal. Well, it should be. It's my letter of resignation. What? You don't want someone as ugly as me scaring your clients. Ugly? What on earth are you talking about? Ask him. I never actually said that. Yeah, it's good as. Look, you don't need to be hasty. I think I do. I'll work out my month's notice, but I'm sorry, I cannot stay somewhere I'm not appreciated. Have you got another job to go to? No, I haven't. But I will happily clean toilets if it means that I don't have to spend another second in your brother's company. Jenny! Hi. Where's my dad? Having a, a lie down. Been asleep all day? No, no. He was down here when I got home. How did he seem? Well, to be honest, not really himself. I think you were right about what you were saying this morning. You think so? I feel terrible even thinking it. What exactly are you thinking? He's not coping, is he? He keeps having accidents. Gabby and Arthur are running rings around him, and when the new baby arrives, is he really going to be able to cope with the sleepless nights, the chaotic runs of nappy changing, feeding, your touchy moods? Oh, what? Oh, come on, you know what you like when you're oh, stressed. Sure I'm not nice. having a go. I, I know I'm the same. He doesn't need the hassle at his time of life. So what's the alternative? I don't know. 
Perhaps he'd be happier living with people his own age. In a home, yeah. I know, it sounds awful. But he hasn't been happy recently. Maybe that's why he's having a go at you. For all I know, he's had enough of both of us. He's too proud to admit it. What do you reckon? It's up to you. Um, I think you should have a chat with him. Thanks. I just want what's best for him. I'll have a word with him tomorrow. <laughs>